welcome you all here tonight for this spring performance. Um, your students have been working incredibly hard for the past five months on this. And we've caught little snippets here and there. We've had Charlie doing our morning announcements for us. But we're really excited to see this all come together for the kids. Some people that I'd like you to take note of, Mr. Leaf, Ms. Peterson, Mr. Finch, and Mr. Trump. My name is Christine Boston. This is Kimberly Lyons. We're the principals at the middle school. And clearly we have stage fright and we're very proud of these kids. So, uh, Good evening. Thank you for coming. The Dover Middle School is proud to present Willie Wonka Jr. and silence your cell phones. Now sit back and enjoy the show.
burial people are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. And those two burial people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. This is Mr. Bucket, and that is Mrs. Bucket. The small boy standing right over there is their only son, Charlie Bucket. Here you go, Grandpa Joe. Cabbage soup. Every day, nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the chocolate news? Monk has got a new bar out. Fudge, Whipple, or Malibu? Malibu. With flavor shifters. Flavor shifters? My. Hey, Papa, what's the latest count count? 1,249,976 perfectly installed toothpaste caps, Charlie. Do you think one day I might work in the toothpaste factory? Let's hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's going to work for Mr. Walker making candy bars. Yeah, Grandpa Joe, don't go filling the boy's head with candy. Charlie's from a long line of distinguished candy bars <coughs> and women. But Walker hasn't hired anyone since Slugworth's spy stole his candy balloon recipe. Wonka was so mad, he gathered all his workers saying, I'm sorry, but you all must go home now. Then he locked the gates of the factory forever. But Mr. Wonka still makes candies. I can smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe the undead. Who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're going to give Charlie a nightmare today. What? What'd she say? She, she said she's making gin. <laughs> Playing gin? Hi, man. <laughs> Run out and see if anyone's done with the news game. Okay, Dad. We'll have to see Grandma. There you are, Mom. Your cabbage soup. <coughs> I thought we were playing gin. <laughs> Yeah. 
Milwaukee Chocolate Crispy. Would you look at this? Waffle Factory to be open to the lucky few. You mean people are actually going to be allowed inside the factory? Read what it says. Mr. Willy Wonka has decided to allow five children to visit his factory. The lucky five will tour the factory and receive a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolate. For the factory? A lifetime supply of chocolate? Bring it on! Five golden tickets have been hidden among five million ordinary candy bars. The finders of these golden tickets will win the tour and the chocolate. It's a million to one shot. The tickets could be anywhere. I wonder if any of them have been found yet. Looks like that paper's a bit old. Charlie, Charlie, could you imagine winning? Touring the factory? Meeting Mr. Wonka? Seeing for yourself all those undead zombie workers? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate. <laughs> I eat more, I eat more, I eat more. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Polka Bar sales are up to over 100,000 an hour, and it seems that a second golden ticket has been found. We're live at Sao Paulo, Brazil, where things are sweet for Veronica Salt. That's Veruca, you imbecile. Veruca, Veruca, Veruca! Um, so, Mr. Salt, I see that you sweetened Veruca's chances with a little assistance. As soon as my little girl told me she simply had to have one of those golden tickets, I bought hundreds of thousands of walk box. I'm in the nut business. Peanuts, cashews, for babies and dogs. So, I have my factory girl stop showing Brazil nuts and start showing rabbits. Daddy, that hidden supporter said my name wrong. Online television, can't you get him fired? <laughs> For you, dear, anything. Anyway, after days of shouting and chocolate, my, one of my factory girls finally found it the blasted golden ticket. I let her take the lucky piece of chocolate from her 17 kids. <laughs> How generous. Daddy, now he's being sarcastic. I want him fired. Fired! You hear me? Fire, fire, fire! This is Phineas Trout, where the sweet has turned sour.
leftover cabbage soup? No, fresh cabbage soup. Now that's positive. <laughs> went about from morning till night with a horrible rumbling in their tummies. Charlie felt it worst of all, but once a year Charlie got a very special treat. Surprise! Happy birthday, Charlie! Here you go. Happy birthday, my love. <coughs> Come on, Charlie. Open her up. It's Wonka's Whipple Scrumptious Fudge Mountain Delight! So the best of them all, real Whipple, carefully whipped at 2,700 RPMs for precisely 62.3 seconds. <laughs> Grandpa, please. I thought we agreed on another ribbon. Fudge oh. Mountain's the best thing, you know it. Go on, Charlie, open her up. Show us what thinking positive is all about. Now, don't be afraid to play it, my darling. You don't find what you're looking for. The thing to remember is that whatever happens, you still have the bar candy. Come yeah. on, boy, open her up. Thank you. 
And I know you're going to share it and all, but you should give it a little taste, just to see if it's not bad or anything.
fault. I always thought a Bruca was a wart. But you don't look like a wart at all. Maybe a mole. Perhaps a bunion. <laughs> Not that in. A factor like this must go through a million nuts. <laughs> Make that a million than one. Your ticket? Here's your silly ticket. Can I have it back after the tour? Of course you can, my dear. Of course you can. By the Beauregard. I hear you. Here's our ticket. Oh, Violet, there's no gum chewing on the tour. But you make gum. Right. Mr. Walker asked you to leave your gum. So we need to negotiate, young lady. Simple babble, whatever. <laughs> Mike TV? Mr. Mike TV and yes. Hold your pantyhose, the commercial's coming up. <laughs> oh, scrumptious. Oh, and Mike, there's no television reception in the factory. None? None whatsoever. Chuck Bucket? Charlie. Charlie Bucket. Here's our ticket. Oh, thank you. Oh, so are you are Charlie Bucket. Odd coincidence, you finding your ticket just in time. Now see here, Wonka, it was my... It was... <laughs> Pleasure to meet you too, Mr... You know me, Wonka. Do I? Well then, let's proceed. We'll begin with a contract. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I hereby swear not to touch the line, assign, clutch, share, tear, or wear, done such party the first part, and so on. Well, please sign below. Not without my lawyer. Let me give him a ring. No television reception, no mobile phone reception. Ha! Huh. Where do I sign?
No matter how tempting, and isn't it deliciously tempting, we must not touch the chocolate. It will instantly harden like cement. Look at that! It's some sort of creature! Great! Watch your hand, Brian, see him, pump! Oh, no need to worry. That, my friends, is an Oompa Loompa. A zombie worker. Not a zombie worker. A refugee. From where, Wonka? All my workers are Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land. Now, speak here, Wonka. I teach oh, and then you know all about Luba Land. With its thick jungles infested with horn swagglers and snazzy wangers. Oh, and those terrible wicked wang doodles. Wang doodles? That's no such thing. There certainly are, my dear. And a wang doodle would just love to sink its sharp, vicious fangs into you. <laughs> oh, Augustus, my chocolate must never be touched by human hands. No. Too late. Please. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's so good. I think I've had too much chocolate. Ah, uh, a two! Oh, I'm not going to do this! <laughs> 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 No way. 
entire factory. All my most important secret inventions are cooking and simmering in here.
well, well, well. Two naughty little children gone. Three good little children left. Mr. Always be a blueberry. Very probably. Now come along, we'll somewhat see some more. Wait, stop, reverse that. Oh, I quite forgot about this room. It's the fizzy lifting drink room. Bubbles, do they taste like candy? Mr. Wonka, sweetie, I want bubbles that taste like candy. Actually, the bubbles taste like soap for kids with dirty mouths. It's what the bubbles do that is remarkable. What do they do, Wonka? One sip of my fizzy lifting drink? and you'll float on air. Float on air? Whoa. Unfortunately, my legal advisors have forbidden our even taking the tiniest taste. Now, come along. I have more exciting things to show you. Mr. Wonka! Kids! They've left us behind. Grandpa Joe, <coughs> what's this? Try it! Hello? Who's there? Should we? I suppose one tiny taste couldn't do any harm. Who? Well. Really? 
a variety of chemicals, the primary psychoactive components being clarified and happy. Oh, Charlie, do stay with the group. We wouldn't want you to float away now, would we? And here we have the nut group. Yes, they are. Eventually, these squirrels will remove a walnut from its shell in one piece, and at the same time, sort the good nuts from the bad nuts. They're so adorable. Here, Squirrely, Squirrely. Oh, Ruka, whatever you do, do not disturb the squirrels. They're in training. See here, Wonka, I want to squirrel. I want to squirrel and a new balloonba. I want to squirrel and a new balloonba and a pink candy boat. While we're at it. I want to beat. I want to beat, beat. Cream buns and donuts and cream cake, but now not so good you could get them. Right. Now everyone must wear the protective gear. 
Please place these goggles over your eyes. Fantastic, and welcome to the Chaco Vision Room. What is this place, some sort of television studio? Of course, for making Waffle commercials. Wrong. Are you familiar with how television works? Yeah, big deal. What's this thing do? I'm sorry, you're mumbling, I can't hear you. I said, what's this thing do? I'm actually a little deaf in that ear. I said, what does this mean? Mumbler! Hey, what's that loopy doopy doing? Oh, well, you see, television gave me a wonderful idea. If you can send a picture via television, why not a candy bar? That's impossible. It's very possible. Imagine sitting at home watching TV. Suddenly, you see a commercial. Try a Wonka bar. Try it now. Poof, there it is. A simple touch of that switch right there. But. Unfortunately, it's not been properly tested, therefore nobody should touch it. Look at me, everybody! I'm going to be on TV! He's gone! Oh dear, I do hope some part of him wasn't left behind. You've never sent a person before. Look! Something's happening! <laughs> You gave into temptation. You were smart enough 
not to get caught, and yet, you admit it to your guilt. But the other kids, they'll all be fine, and they'll each receive the booby prize, a lifetime supply of chocolate. Well, that's the booby prize? What's the real prize? Charlie, if you love my factory, it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm happy to hear you say that, Charlie, because from this moment on, it's yours. What do you mean? I'm giving you my factory, Charlie. I need an heir, and that person is you. You want me to run this entire factory? But what about my mom, and my dad, and Grandpa Joe? The entire family can live here. I'd love to. I'd positively love to.
Bailey. Grandpa Joe and Charlie Bucket. Chocolate genius of the century, Willie Just how 